It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with the team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. This week on the Street of Dreams with a light economic calendar, all eyes were on inflation and rising interest rates. And investors were laser focused on comments from Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell on Thursday. Now, according to the headlines in the financial propaganda channels, the chairman fumbled and markets tumbled as the chairman failed to reassure investors that the central bank would keep rising bond yields and inflation in check. All I could do was scratch my head as I watched Chairman Powell's testimony on Thursday, and his message to the markets has been nothing but direct and unwavering. And he simply reiterated this week that the economy is not where it should be and that the Federal Reserve would be patient before changing policy, even if inflation exceeds the Fed's target of 2%. So what really happened this week is the market's experience a pullback, a good old fashioned correction. You see 5% corrections on average occur three times a year in a normal market and a 10% correction on average every 16 months. Stocks dropped this week was nothing more than a price adjustment to the higher interest rates available in the bond market. Nothing to see here, so let's move along folks. The real news was the day of reckoning for our newly minted day traders who learned a harsh lesson as their stocks were literally slaughtered this week. The same thing is happening to them that happened to the original day traders of 1999. You remember them, the lawyers, the doctors, the corporate executives, and the plumbers who quit their day job to seek the easy riches of day trading. Well, they lost all their capital in 2000 and were never to be heard from again. Now, here we are in 2021, same movie, but with all brand new actors, but the same result. The probability of success when day trading is only slightly better to that of flipping a coin, a 50-50 proposition. However, holding stocks for 10 years historically has resulted in a positive return about 90% of the time. Hey, call me crazy, but a 90% chance of making money versus losing it all is a no-brainer. Better yet, the market's corrected this week, creating a buying opportunity for the informed long-term investor. You know, history doesn't always repeat, but it often rhymes. How come some investors just never learn? Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio appropriate to my risk tolerance to my family's goals? Well, why sit there and wonder when you can know? My son, Ryan, and I have 65 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. All you have to do to take advantage of our expertise is to text or call 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. Or just simply call 844 Plan NYC. That's 844 P L A N N Y C. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.